Hi, my name is Dr. Rich Hills and you're watching my channel, Knife Skill. Today, I wanna to do a meme review. Why? Well, if PewDiePie can do it, so can I. There are so many great medical memes and some of them I think are worth either bringing attention to my audience or at least offering a little bit of uh, comment. So why don't we take a quick look together at some of my favorite medical memes that have popped up recently. Get your up and work. It seems like nobody wants to work these days. You That's have to, so true. You have to surround yeah. yourself. So this one's maybe a little unfair to the ER doctors, but it's a common complaint among referral or specialty services that, hey, did you even examine the patient? Like, like what did you do before you sent the referral? And you know, sometimes we get a little frustrated that the referral to our service might come very early on in the patient's workup. So I've heard these types of complaints before. Well, I didn't really want to be here, so I was made to be here. So obviously I'm just like wanting to get this over with and get on with my life. This is a big inconvenience for me. <laughs> well, isn't that true? We all end up having to do rotations in medicine when we're doing our training that we're really not that interested in. Specifically, surgery is one of those rotations that a lot of people choose to really not enjoy. And so they just want to get it over with. They're like, look, I hate the operating room. Um, this is not for me. I know for sure I don't want to do it, but I'm just going to try to get through it with a decent evaluation so I can do what I really am passionate about, which might be, you know, family medicine, internal medicine, whatever. All right, this one's it's Kanye West. So this is a super toxic trait. I think probably one of the worst things about senior residents and attendings is sometimes we don't demonstrate that we respect the time of our junior trainees, either the junior residents or the medical students. So telling someone that you're gonna be there at 6 a.m. and then showing up an hour late really is a terrible morale killer. And actually one of the behaviors that I think can be pretty toxic and well can be a reason why like a rotation is considered malignant, so to speak. So I've had experiences like that where my consultants have not respected my time, told me to wait here for a certain period of time or, I, or they'll be there and then arrive, you know, half an hour, an hour late. If you're watching this, never do that. Show your trainee some respect. No. Aurora. No, ma'am. Well, this one's just super cute. I'm a dad myself. I will say though, if the nurse is putting food out for the patient, they're really not helping the situation. And maybe that's what's happening here. Mom, don't put a drink in front of your kid if you don't want her to drink it. All right, so I can 100% relate to this one. I do a lot of hernias in my general surgery practice, and it's amazing how quickly you go from, hi, I'm Dr. Hillsden, to it's time to take your pants off. I gotta see what's going on down there. All right, this is one where he's siphoning gas out from the car. Now with gas prices as they are right now, we've had all-time highs where I'm from. This doesn't surprise me at all. Although I will say residents now are paid a lot better than they used to be. They earn without a doubt a living wage and have a reasonable lifestyle. That being said, obviously they're not even close to what a consultant makes or an attending makes or a staff doctor makes. So residents do sacrifice a few years with some meager income to have later benefits, but they've already paid hundreds of thousands of dollars to train in school and to earn at best sort of average salaries, they can feel poor. <laughs> this is good. So just like the Tinder swindler, don't expect to really get anything back that you give to your attendings. As far as your attendings concerned, if they have a pen in their hand, it belongs to them. Okay, so this one is super specific. Meditech is an electronic medical record and it's not a very popular one. A lot of people uh, hate it. It hasn't been updated as far as I'm concerned since the 
uh, 90s, although I have heard that maybe there are uh, newer versions out that maybe haven't been adopted by certain hospitals. But if you're a Meditech user that's using an old version of Meditech, you'll definitely relate to uh, this true tweet and hope that uh, Elon Musk actually does delete it. Take it easy, champ. Why don't you stop talking for a while? Maybe sit the next couple of plays out. You know what I mean? Well, that one hits home, doesn't it? <laughs> um, well, I like to say I'm not a med influencer. I'm just a guy who likes to talk in front of the camera. I don't imagine I influence anyone. Um, but yeah, maybe we do talk too much. Maybe there is a little too too much being uh, said and we could probably uh, sit a few rounds out. Well, those are some memes that I liked. Thank you for watching. My name is Dr. Richard Hilson. This is the channel Knife Skills. If you have any memes that you think I should review, why don't you send them in the comments below? I also appreciate every single like and subscribe. I appreciate the interactions that I have from you, my audience, and you guys keep bringing me back. So once again, have a great day.